Hi, Carl. So you got the 10-year Treasury spiking above 1.75% today as investors we know are assessing the Federal Reserve's faster-than-expected policy tightening. And the prospect, though, of higher rates and less liquidity doesn't seem to bode very well for high-growth fintech stocks in the payment space. And so that's what I'm looking at today. Names like Robinhood, insurance disruptor Lemonade, restaurant payments firm Toast or PayPal, they were darlings of the pandemic. But demand for these firms is cooling off, especially over the last three months, which is what you're seeing on your screen right now, that downward trend for all of those stocks. And then you've got Buy Now, Pay Later Lender Affirm down over 20% this week alone. Investors aren't only spooked by higher rates, which of course could lead to higher defaults on loans, but also by credit quality. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau recently requested data from several large buy now, pay later firms, including a firm, which right now is trending to the upside today, but down over the week. And shares in Block, formerly known as Square, down almost, uh, well, I would just say it turned around, oh, flat to the negative right now, unchanged, but uh, down on the week over 10%. And that's its worst week since early December, which really doesn't sound like much, but December was its second straight monthly decline. And that two month losing streak, its longest since 2019. Block also closed at a 52 week low yesterday. The stock is not only linked to federal policy, but crypto as well. Block's cash app allows users to buy and sell Bitcoin with Bitcoin representing nearly 50% of overall revenue. So when Bitcoin falls dramatically, which is what you're seeing on your screen uh, and just previously, then you also have the same type of movement with Block. And we're also seeing similar movements with personal finance firm SoFi and cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase. So as we slowly exit the pandemic, we're optimistic about that, demand for digital apps is cooling down and pair that with a broader retreat from tech stocks ahead of interest rate increases and you have yourself a sell-off in some of the market's best performing names, which we just went through. Back over to you.